Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is Matthew 7, 12. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. This verse is everything. Anytime you see the phrase law and the prophets, you could trust it's an important verse to remember. The 600 or so Jewish, law, Jewish laws is what the Jewish people thought would keep them in good standing with God. And the word of the prophet is God's way of bringing his people back from sinful habits. Uh, this command is our way of accomplishing that. Even more so, this verse is a reflection of how God actually treats us. You see, he desires us to love him. And so what does he do? While the world was his enemy, he still chose to love and send his son to die for us and make a way to be with him forever. I do think Jesus is teaching us how to treat people in our present and our future, but he's also teaching us to be reflective about our past. This verse has me thinking of some people in my past, specifically a few previous bosses I've had. In fact, bosses who have hurt me or done wrong to me, whether it was on purpose or not. And because of those hurts, I've held on to anger and unforgiveness. To be real, I've probably hurt them one way or another in retaliation for their hurts against me. And that was way back when I thought it was okay. Well, God, in his infinite wisdom, eventually put me in charge of people. He had me supervise volunteers, work with parents and students, just so I can learn this lesson the hard way. And you know what? When I got the position where I was over other people, I promised myself I would never be like my previous bosses who hurt me. And in a lot of ways, I was different. But people are still people. Without even meaning to, without even trying to, I ended up hurting people while I was in charge. Which... I've also learned just comes with the territory of being in charge. It pains me to think back on those experiences because I really, I really wasn't trying to. But God showed me through these people that I have hurt just how hurtful I was to my bosses. Matthew 7, 12 brings these lessons full circle for me. Because some people I hurt forgave me and we grew from that experience while others, others reminded me of myself. When I got hurt by my bosses or even coworkers, I chose to be unforgiving. I chose to be judgmental, even mean at times. But you know what I would want now that I, I've been through their position, I've been through those kinds of pains and hurts? I would want an employee or a volunteer who forgives fast and is willing to reconcile in God's name. An employee who can still look at me after hurting them unintentionally or not and say, I still love you. You need to build back trust, but I still love you. Or one who can say, hey, you hurt me but I'm gonna to try to see it from your perspective and we can have a conversation about this. Because man, when I dealt with volunteers or parents or employees who are not these things, it made for toxic environments, made for poor work situations. Honestly, I wanna call my old bosses and apologize. And maybe that's what I should do because I would love it if someone did that for me. Matthew 7, 12, do unto others as you would have them do to you. Today, Allow this verse to help you reflect on your past as much as propel you forward in it. And maybe you have a boss or a coworker or a volunteer or someone in your life where you really need to forgive them, where you really need to treat them as you would want to be treated, even now. Have a blessed day, Calvary. I hope the golden rule blesses you as well.